Lagos Traffic Radio and at 6.1 FM, your broadcast sanctuary from the west end of Nigeria. And we're taking you through Metropolitan Lagos in a beautiful style this uh, wonderful Thursday morning. Now, our covenant with you, my dear listener, is to ensure that you get the traffic information that will help you plan your journeys and reduce your travel time as much as possible. All right, then. So the month of September is certainly on the overdrive right now as if jolted to the realization that the third quarter of the year is coming to an end. Well, as you cruise along on this wonderful day, my dear listener, just be positive for what life has to offer, right? And then you can shake off the disappointments of unfulfilled dreams. All right, then you're welcome to Build Right. This is your one-stop diary for the physical and plant space of Lagos, and it is aimed at uh, bringing you best practices that's available in this particular sector. You're welcome. My name is Victor Oteri. All right, then, so on the program today, we are going to be taking you or perhaps transporting your imagination to the further or the northern side of Lagos. Yes, we're taking you all the way to the rich town of Ekwe, and we're going to be looking at how we decentralize or perhaps simplify planning permits and building approvals within the Ekwe district. So my guests are here. They'll be telling us that the prospects of you having to get the right uh, permits within that particular town and how it is uh, processed. All that and much more will be part of the menu. Plus, we'll also be hearing from you and then we'll be taking comments from the road, especially for those of you who are making that journey. We're giving you updates as well from time to time. All right, so I'll just urge you to grab a seat. Or perhaps if you're driving, just take a good listen as we bring you those information that will really, really help and empower you in the physical and urban space. You're welcome. A brief break. We'll be back. Lagos Physical Planning Summit is here at the Center of Excellence where opportunities meet painstaking planning and infrastructural development. A city of estimated 24 million people and 65% of its commercial activities. In furtherance of Governor Sanwolu's Themes Plus agenda, the Office of Physical Planning is set to match operative development plans with investment opportunities as it invites stakeholders to her inaugural Lagos Physical Planning Summit. Theme, Real Thinking Lagos, a new vision for a regional and integrated mega city. Chief Host, Mr. Babajide Sawolu, Governor of Lagos State. Keynote Speaker, His Excellency, Mr. Babatunde Fashala, SAN, former Governor of Lagos State. Host, Dr. Luyin Lumide, Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development. Date, Tuesday 15th to Wednesday 16th, October 2024. Venue, Echo Hotels and Suites, Victoria Island, Lagos. Time, 8.30 a.m. daily for Sustainable Lagos. Announcer, Lagos State Government. Dear Lagosians, the vision of making Lagos a sustainable and resilient state through community regeneration and inclusive physical planning begins with building right. We all have a role to play in achieving this vision in line with the Lagos State Urban and Regional Plan and Development Law of 2019 as amended. Do you know that before buying a land or building on it, you must check for the permissible use from the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development? Do you know that you must obtain a planning permit and authorization to commence the construction of your building? Do you also know that you require state certification and certificate of completion for building construction in Lagos State. Estate developers must obtain layout approval before developing their estate and obtain full planning permit after the expiration of a provisional planning permit. Their Lagosians do not carry out unapproved renovation, remodeling, or demolition. Do not break the seal on an enforced property. Do not obtain fake planning permits and do not abandon uncompleted buildings. Do not break the law. Build right in accordance with the state operative development plans. Let's work together to make Lagos a sustainable smart city of choice. For more information, download the Lagos State MPP UD app on Google Play Store and Apple Store. Igbega Ikwileko Adjumosheni, announcer, Lagos State Government.
Lagos Traffic Radio, that is 6.1 FM. All right, and so we said for the conversation, our guests are already seated. But before we do that, right away, let's take you through the roads. Okwebi Allen Corridor, I understand, is very good movement inwards to Keja. And then the return journey back to Allen intersection is also looking good at the moment. We can also tell you that Aromire Road in and out is very calm at the moment. Allen intersection connecting Radio Bus Stop Junction is free. Ah, but uh, the return journey to Allen, okay, it's also free too. All right, then even for my live cameras, we can tell you that too. Uh, signal light alternating at the intersection, but no major worries. Clay Junction, EcoC Junction, Welfare Junction, up to Olu, uh, that's Olu Shosun, uh, down to Ojota. It's also very free. That entire stretch of over two kilometers, looking pretty good. Okwebi Link Bridge, Salvation, up to Adebola House, is very free too. And then Okwebi Towing Street, back to Allen Intersection, also looking good at the moment. Billings Way, the stretch is very good presently. And then all through that corridor, it is very calm and no record of impediment sighted right now. Okay then, so we'll be serving you more air pains and if there's anything you would like me to do for you too, you can escalate that to me, alright? I would also send that in to our traffic managers who will be able to you know, take us through that this morning. Okay then, this is Build Right and it is courtesy of the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development, okay? Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development and um, if you are still worried about how you can go about things there's an app which has been developed by the ministry that can guide you in taking the very very right decisions as it relates to the physical and urban space it's called the mppud app okay mppud all right just uh, search on uh, the play store or perhaps the app store and then you can download the app Follow the promptings and you'll be able to get the right information that you need in this particular uh, area. Okay? All right, then. So today, like I said, we're expanding the scope for planning permits and building approvals in Lagos. Equi District offices in focus. And joining me right now in the studios, I've got Builder Arugundade Olajide. He's an assistant director with uh, the Lagos State Building Control Agency. And currently, he's a district head of Ekpe Irudu office uh, for Lapska. It's nice to have you in the building, uh, Mr. Rogudade. Good morning. Good morning, sir. And how are you doing? I'm good. Okay, you need to get closer to the microphone so that we can really, really have a good uh, picture and we can hear you well. So, how was your journey here this morning? Great. It was great. Because I know traveling from Ekpe to this place is going to be like, um, if I'm going to put it in context, about um, 70 to 80 kilometers. So, did you come all the way this morning or you've been here since yesterday night? I, I came right away from my home, not a from okay. uh, 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 Egbeda. Okay, you stay in Egbeda. Yes. So you have to transfer all the way to Egbeda every day, or you you stay over there during the week and I then I stay over there during the week. Yes. And then weekends you you get you come home. Yes. Okay, beautiful. So you welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. All right, town planner Sharif Bakari is a great friend of the house, an assistant director of town planning services with the Lagos State Physical Planning Authority, and he is also the district officer. A local government town planner Sherry Bakari. Nice to have you in the building. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Victor. And how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, so same for you too. So, did you make that journey all the way from Ekwe this morning? Or? Uh, yeah, I, I live in Ekorodu. Oh, okay. So, so coming from Ekorodu, this place is good. Uh, but but there's, there's a back route that you can use to navigate to Ekwe from Ekorodu, right? Yes. So, that, that's where you navigate through every day. Yes. Wow. Wow. That's great. All right, then. So, um, let's talk. Mr. Victor, please. Point of correction. I'm not Bakari. Oh, okay. Bakri. I'm Bakri. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you so much for that uh, correction this beautiful morning. So, like I said, we are transporting your imagination to Ekwe. And Ekwe is a town and local government area that's located on the northeastern part of Lagos, sitting on a surface area of 965 square kilometers. So it tells you how big Ekwe as a town is. But you guys, let's start this morning. Um, town planner Sheriff Bakri, let's begin our conversation by checking up on the amnesty program for planning permit approvals and completed buildings in Lagos. So how is that campaign faring with El Ekwe where you are? Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Victor, once again. Mm. Um, concerning the amnesty program in Ekpe, we should give thanks to the Onoria uh, Father within Ekpe and Eredo community. They've been helpful telling their people what the importance and the, uh, the good side of the amnesty. 
and so far so good people have been coming okay they've been yeah. showing up yeah, they've been showing up fine okay for them to just rectify some of the things that have been done in the past yes sir wow that's good all right so uh builder Aaron Gudade, what about you how's the amnesty program going how is it faring with uh, you uh especially the one that relates to you in that area people have been coming show interest and uh, the the amnesty is very very good very, very okay in the uh, credit people are eager to obtain to obtain their planning permit okay. at the same time they are also eager to uh, to, to apply to, uh, to obtain their uh, to obtain their building, building, building approval within the district okay so people are showing up in your office people are showing interest all right so mm. on a daily basis um uh Tamplan Abakri, on a daily basis like how many people show up in your office mm, Mr. Victor. Mm, if i'm to say minimum of five people show up in a day okay daily yeah, yeah daily wow so within a week you could get as many as, as 25 20, yeah 25 wow. 30. all right that's massive and yeah. the big question somebody is asking this morning is why do i need a plumbing permit for my building Plan of Bakri, I'm still going to throw that to you. Why That's do I need a planning permit? Number one, the, f the main reason you need a planning permit, it adds value to your property. Okay. Two, you know where to build, how to build, and what to build. Hmm. Okay. No. Where to build, how to, to build, build and, and what to build. And what to build. So, yeah. with a planning permit, I'll be able to determine all of that. Yes, sir. Okay, that, that sounds uh, pretty good. Uh, Bill, the Arogo Daddy, how long is this amnesty uh, that has been extended by Mr. Governor? How, how long is it expected to last? By ending of October. Okay, so 2024. August to October. So yes. another 90 days. 90 days. Uh, this is already September 19th. So yes, we're saying next month. in the next one and a half months, exactly. this should be running up. Now, for yes, those sir. who are just getting to know about this information right now, what are the requirements for them to really, really benefit? From this um, amnesty. amnesty, yeah, with the help of Mr. Governor, aside mm -hmm. of the amnesty program, the Mr. Governor said no penalty. The amnesty is meant for you have to pay the necessary fee with that penalty fee for the built up structures. Okay, that you have. That you have. And part of the um, program, Mr. Governor, design again is that any application that comes in must benefit five percent discount. Wow. So they're going to take up the penal fee, right? Yes. yes. So if the penal, penal fee is worth, uh, let's say, six million, yes. that will be cancelled yes, entirely. Yes, and then for you even coming to apply, he's now saying that another five percent discount, discount will be deducted from, from the statutory charges. Yes, sir. Wow, wow, that's massive at this time, in this very crucial time, so people can benefit this. Yes. Wow, this is very very good. All right. So uh, what are the things that are required? Uh, for them to benefit those, those who want to apply what are, what do they need to okay. supply yeah first of all they, they, are, they will be coming with their title document or proof of ownership it it could be um, C, um, CFO governor's consent or um, receipt from family that is purchasing the property um, architectural drawing only for um, architectural drawing structural drawing mechanical electrical but if it is bungalow, architectural drawing is required alone. Okay. But two floors, mechanical architecture and mechanical uh, structure is, uh, is required. Is required. But if it's three floors and above, architectural, structural, mechanical, and electrical drawings are required. Everything is, is required for, for that one. Yes. Because it's a huge project. Yeah, it's a huge project. All right. So, Lupa, I'm still coming. Okay, go Survey ahead. plan, Lupa. What an affidavit in lieu of tenement rates, development levy, task clearance of the applic applicant, photograph of the applicant, and photograph of the site. Mm. All well, are required. Oh, great, great. All right, then. So le let's go to what you guys do now. And I'm going to start first with um, Builder Harugunda Day. So, as a district officer for the Ekwe uh, Erudo, that's talking about that particular local government and LCDA, what are your responsibilities there? What are your core responsibilities thank you mr victor as a dc state some of my core responsibility is day-to-day -day monitoring to carry out stage inspection and certification at different at various stages of development of construction okay so to also identify 
and removal of districts and unconforming buildings within the district. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll still get back to some of. Oh, you wanted to add to, to that, um, Bakri? Mm, but, okay, but before that, quickly, let's mm. even know the town because uh, we just talk about Ekwe. A lot of us hear, hear about Ekwe, 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 and um, some of us are really, really dreaming to come there. Well, a lot of times, what comes to our mind is all about tourism, fishing, and all of that. But what communities fall under Ekwe where you see pretend? So let's let's start with you, uh, Bakri. Okay. Ekwe comprises Ekwe Central itself, Buka, North Oja, Eredo. Iraye, no Odoragushi, Mojoda, Igboye, uh, Ilamija, part of Okyogun, right? Um, Okyosho, Temu, um, okay, Okoriso. Okay, let's see. Let's see if uh, Bill Dairogunade can also add to this. Are there other, other areas, other communities within Ekwe that he has not mentioned? Yes, okay. we have uh, Ibola. Okay, we have uh, Odoragushi, Odogbonle, and we also have uh, Abowa town. Right. So it's a very very big place indeed. Yes. yes. So if we if we go on a tour right now, can, can we? Is this a place that we can go around in let's say thirty minutes or how long will it take us? If oh. I it's going to take like two, three days. Two, three days? Yes. Wow. So when you go for your monitoring, uh, I that it's a whole day's job. That's what it means. Yes. In Ekwe? Yes. Wow. That's very, very big. Yes. All right, then. So, uh, Bakri, let's get to some of your functions. What are your responsibilities as a district officer Fine. within the Ekwe Corridor? Thank you, Mr. Aviso. One of my functions as a district officer in within Ekwe Corridor is to sign, is to grant approval within Ekwe district office, district area, and also to monitor construction I mean construction to confirm with approval granted mm. okay so you issue planning permits yes uh, you monitor some of those things that have been done yeah. in conformity with what has been mm, granted approval granted approval granted as well okay all right so let's still dwell a bit on you because uh, you are last part a lot of times before any construction commences they have to come to you first is that correct yes, sir. all right so in the issuance of permits, how many types of permits do we have under LASPA? Under LASPA, uh, we have demolition permit, fencing permit, renovation permit, and building plan permit. That, that looks like four? Yes. Okay, so there's renovation, there there's is fencing, fencing, there is demolition, demolition, and there is building permit. You mean it? Yeah. So if I'm going to do any renovation in my house, I'm supposed to come for a permit. Exactly. Yes. Why? I mean, it's my house now. It's already built. Why do I need to come and come? To, why do I need to come to you again? You need this. You need it. Right. So it is needed. It's needed, yes, sir. So that it, it conforms. So it's already on ground. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yes. Now? Right. Because some, some, when renovation is being done, some bricks will be will be coming up. Okay. I want to we want to change the face of the building. All right. So that's why you need permit because the approval granted at the initial stage shows what is on ground uh, formally. Okay. L let me come to LAPCA because uh, your role is very very crucial in ensuring the sustainability of buildings in Lagos. Uh, builder Rungdadi, at what point do the people need to get in contact with LAPCA in the building process? Immediately after obtaining planning permit, okay, it is expected from the developer to write a letter address to general manager, legal state, medical state agency, his station to commence construction by giving it in writing seven days to give him the, the seven day notice. Okay, so if I get you clearly, once I get my approval from LASPA, yeah, yeah, which is permit. the physical planning, 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 yes. planning permit authority. Yes. And I intend to commence construction of that building. I'm supposed to notify you LAPCA. You notify the agency your intention. Okay. And and uh, after notify the agency, you are going to there are some documents you need to attach to it. What are like, the documents? Uh, we, we have a planning permit. We have the screen drawing. Okay. Like uh, architectural drawing, social drawing. If it's a uh, three D floor and above, we have architectural drawing, social drawing, and Mechanical and electrical drawing, mm. and a survey plan, and a site photograph before the issuance of 
or to adjust to commerce work. So, per adventure, per adventure, I mean, I got this planning permit, uh, so let's say in April, uh, there was no money, and then somehow, somehow, through savings, through some kind of uh, business that I've done in August, I get some low, uh, some money, so to say, and I really just want to quickly inject it to do my foundation. <laughs> and I start building. Is it wrong? Without without connecting with you. If I start ever, which means you, you contravene the law. I've contravened like that? Yes. That's okay. what you call a contravention. You've contravened. Right. So as you're doing your inspection, you just come across my property and you see that foundation has already been laid. What, yes. What? As a lab court official, what we're supposed to do at that, at that time is to serve you that contravention notice and stop work order immediately. I have to stop the work? Yes, immediately. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who, who I am, right? At all. Ah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, work stops. So, what's next? How do I correct that? Uh, by the time we, s- we seal out the, the property, it is expected from the developer to furnish our office, local office, with a relevant document. If available at the end of the day, you could furnish all the relevant document. We are going to refer the said property to enforcement department. Right. So they, they will come and do enforcement. Yes, so really. how will you know now? Because I'm just thinking, assuming that foundation was not properly constructed, right? Probably I've used the wrong set of materials and um, foundation has been done. So what happens? Are there ways you guys can determine if that thing was properly done or not? There is something that we call a, a foundation probe. Okay, so you, you guys will embark on a, on, a, on a foundation probe. Exactly. You'll come and probe it. Exactly. All right. Uh, Bakri, what are the processes involved in getting a permit from LASPA? Process. Yes. I said, mm, the process involved in getting a permit from LASPA, you yes. have to bring your screen architecture drawing, survey plan, development levy, architecture drawing, structural drawing, mechanical, if it is more than two floors. Mechanical and electrical, uh, electrical is required. Development level, um, photograph of applicant, photograph of site. Then after that, evidence of payment. Right. And how long? How long does it take to get a, any of these uh, permits that you mentioned? At the point of submitting your application, if you are you, um, uh, developer, I mean the own, the applicant has all required documents, it takes just ten days. Ten days. Yeah. So let's say two weeks. Yeah, Within days. two weeks, yes, I will get your permit. So, is there anything that would make that number, ch- um, that day, those days change uh, to 15 or 20 days? Are there in, reasons why it could stay longer? In, uh, if, if, if the tendency is stay longer. If, if what? If applicant fail to submit the, re- the re- re- relevant documents. Oh, okay. So, that's the criteria. Yes. All right. Lagos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM. We're expanding the scope for planning permit approvals as well as building approvals uh, in Lagos. And this time around, we're taking you all the way to Ekwe. So if you stay within that particular corridor or that axis or perhaps any other location in Lagos and you've been wondering how to really, really deal with the issue of uh, planning permits and building approvals, I'll be opening up the line shortly or perhaps you can send it to us on WhatsApp. Okay, that'll be on 80 and 915 A brief break. When we return, we'll hear from you. Lagos Physical Planning Summit is here at the Center of Excellence where opportunities meet painstaking planning and infrastructural development. A city of estimated 24 million people and 65% of its commercial activities. In furtherance of Governor Sanwolu's Themes Plus agenda, the Office of Physical Planning is set to match operative development plans with investment opportunities as it invites stakeholders to her inaugural Lagos Physical Planning Summit. Theme, Real Thinking Lagos, a new vision for a regional and integrated mega city. Chief Host, Mr. Babajide Sawolu, Governor of Lagos State. Keynote Speaker, His Excellency, Mr. Babatunde Fashala, SAN, former Governor of Lagos State. Host, Dr. Luyinka Lumide, Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development. Date, Tuesday 15th to Wednesday 16th, October 2024. Venue, Echo Hotels and Suites, Victoria Island, Lagos. Time, 8.30 a.m. daily for Sustainable Lagos. Announcer, Lagos State Government.
Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Build Right is the program. And this morning, we're taking you all the way to Ekwe. My guests are here. Uh, and I'm talking about uh, Builder Arugundadi or Lajide, who is uh, a builder with uh, Labska, talking about the Lagos State Building Control Agency. He is also the district officer representing Labka in Ekwe and Iridu. And I also have here in the studios with me this morning, Sharif Bakari, town planner. Sharif Bakri, rather, uh, he is also the district officer for Ekwe. All right, 080-99-120-777 is the numbers that you can connect with us. Uh, talking about the roads this morning, most of the areas are still looking pretty good. Ojota Corridor, very, very good. Uh, the Third Milan Bridge is uh, looking very good as well, too. You do not have any major worries. Lagos Abiyokuta Expressway uh, is not bad at all. Uh, most of these areas are very, very cool and calm. And no major breakdowns uh, so far, so good. All right, then. So let's uh, get back to this. So, uh, Bakri, you say now that if I get a planning permit and then I begin to, uh, perhaps I want to construct a piece of, uh, let, let's say my own piece of land, I want to construct like a mini mall or a supermarket or that kind of a thing, and I just start building. Are you saying that um, I run foul of the law? Is the question meant for me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are wrong far from the law. You mean it? Yes. Okay. So once that is done, how do I get it? Um, how, mm. do I, how do I make amends? Yeah. The, um, Mr. Victor, the way they do planning, there, there, are, um, there are different sizes of land meant for different um, projects. Okay. You cannot build a supermarket on a plot of land because you have to consider the parking. Oh. So it's, it's very wrong. It's very wrong. I, I hope you guys do monitoring for this, LAPCA. I know you guys are the ones supposed to be going out for monitoring. Is that correct? Uh, yes. So I hope you monitor people in that regard. Sir? I said I hope you'd go out for monitoring to ensure yes, that yes. people are not using one plot of land to build commercial <laughs> entities. Yes. You do that? Yes. All right. That's a message here. Mm. Uh, meanwhile, if you want to call 08099120777, uh, there's a message here that says, should permits be sought for renovation on government-owned buildings before renovation as well? Yes, sir. You mean it? Yes. Uh, but a government-owned property now. <laughs> it, it applies to all applications. All applications. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, you didn't even put your name, by the way, but uh, that's the answer. It says, all buildings before you can do any form of renovation, you must uh, seek for uh, th th those um, kind of uh, permits. All right, uh, more questions are coming in for you. Uh, this one says, uh, uh, let me see. Okay, this one says, good morning, Victor. My name is Adebayo from Ibejuleki. Say, could you ask the guests to walk us through the step-by-step -step processes of obtaining a planning permit in the Ekwe district? I think, um, I think uh, Bakri, Okay. Uh, yeah, already talked about that, Abi. Yes. All right, but if you want to quickly do that, what are the steps? Yeah, first of all, the, the applicant will come with proof of ownership, survey plan, architectural drawing, structural drawing, mechanical drawing. Mechanical and uh, electrical is applicable if it's above two floors. Okay. Development level, task clearance, applicant picture photograph, photograph of site. After getting those one, they will bring them to our office. We now do the assessment. All right. Yeah. This one says, Hi, Victor. Could you ask the guests to explain what the most common reasons are for delays in building approval applications in a quiet district? Kemi is sending that one in. So are we having those kind of delays? Any application that is delayed in a quiet district, applicant is the owner of the fault. Ah, why do you yeah. say that? There is tendency... One or two documents are missing. They fail to bring along. Ah. So if you had that kind of situation, I don't know ways you can get back to them to say, look, we, this is missing and this is the reason why we, your yeah. application has been delayed. We do write them to okay. inform them of the outstanding document. Okay, you do that? Yes. From time to time? Yes, sir. All right. Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM 08099120777 and 0915538771. If you see anything that is really, really violating uh, the building code in your neighborhood, uh, would you be willing to also whistleblow that on the program this morning? Talk to us. If you see any buildings that are not meeting up to the standards, anywhere you are, 
Uh, you can also share that uh, experience with us. All right. This one says, are there any specific incentives, okay, specific initiatives aimed at fast-tracking approvals for large-scale projects in Ekwe? Uh, it says, uh, in Ekwe, given its rapid growth, at the moment, okay. You didn't put your name, by the way. So, uh, are there any express ways you can give those kind of uh, approvals? All approvals are treated the same. Ah. So far, that uh, the required document are submitted at point of registration. The, they are all the same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Builder Arugnade, you wanted to add to that. You said all approvals are the same for you too. Yes. Okay. Any any time those approvals are sent in, you guys treat it with urgency. Is that yes. what it means? Yes, exactly. Ah, okay. This one says, "Good morning to you, Victor, and the guests in the studio." Uh, say, my name is Shegun from Ikurudu. Could you ask the guests what efforts are being made to simplify the application process for residents and small scale developers <laughs> in Ekwe? I know that Ekwe, we have lots of developers within that uh, area. There's so many people selling all sorts of land and all of that. So, how do you treat those developers when they come for those kind of building approvals? Majority, thank you, Mr. Victor. Majority of the projects in Epena are estates. And all they do is to bring in their perimeter survey for fencing permit only. Okay. Perimeter survey, survey for fencing permit. They do not start coming in with the application for... For building yet. Yes. Because most of them are still, those are still virgin lands yes. in those places and um, they are, they are, okay. So that, that sounds uh, very, very good. But are there ways you check if these lands are, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Because you know, those developers, they sell all sorts of lands now. Mm -hmm. And some people do not know if these lands are government mm -hmm. reserved or those kind of things. Uh, build a room daddy. Are there ways you are able to see, to say, look, this is contravening this 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 uh, this land is not meant for uh, residential development and all that. Are there ways you can check that? I, 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 the, the, what they do in that regard is to contact our sister JC Laswa, that's a legal fiscal planning permit. So so for them to do the charting to be able to ascertain whether the is uh, that place is as viable. Or for within government accusation. Okay. So uh, last part charts it. Chart, yes. And once they chart it, they will yeah. to let you know know if this the is status of the land. It's status. Oh, okay. Of the land. All right. Uh, this one says, Good morning, traffic radio. How are environmental factors like flood control taken into account during the planning permit approval process in Ekwe? You didn't put your name by the way. So uh, do you guys determine that as well? Flood control? Is that part of what you determine? Yes. We determine there are certain meters to any drainage alignment. Mm. Okay, certain what do you call it now? Certain um, setbacks to drainage alignment. Oh, okay, that is considered as well. Yes, from time to time. Yes. Okay then. All right. So planning permit, you say it takes how many days? Ten days. Ten working days. Within ten working days, yes. one can get the planning permit, permit. and it doesn't matter what kind of planning permit, right? Exactly. Yes. All right. Okay, let's look at this now. This scenario says, this, uh, it says, if I lose my planning permit, can it be replaced? It can. Yes. You apply for the submission. I mean, the stamping. Oh, okay. And uh, how long does that take? The same The same, the same process, yes. The ah. same process, yeah. So, you will not be able to find out if um, maybe I'm just hiding it or... No. <laughs> so, once it is lost... There's a simple process for me to get it back. There is a department in last part that does that. Okay. Yeah. Bill, that regular day, if I sell my property, does the physical planning permit belong to me or the uh, new property owner? Maybe I should give that back to Battery. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Victor. <laughs> the moment you sell your property, mm. the labitum asset of the property has been given, will be handed over to the new buyer. Ah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah. So that means the name will have to be changed. Yes. So in changing that, am I going to come to you? If you feel. Okay. I, I want to maintain the person's name. Oh, well, now it depends on you. Okay. No, but I just want to do because is there a way one, is there a way you guys will be able to certify that? Well, this planning permit belongs to uh, building C48 on Arugundade Street, right? Mm. And the name that was registered with it is Mr. Terry. 
Now, you're telling me it's Mr. Lawal that owns the property. Wouldn't that bring some kind of controversy? Mm. Or there are ways you guys can check that yourself? There are ways you can check. Mm. If you are buying a property, there will be an agreement between you, the buyer and the seller. If the person that come out from okay, Mr. Ogoda that has sold it to Oteri, and we Sorry. see it, we are good to go. Okay, just like that. Yes. Okay then. Uh, Bill, let's talk about where you guys are located. Uh, the last, the Labs car office in uh, Ekwe Eredo. Where is it located? Our office is located at Was Yard, Awo Lower Road, opposite Saint Teresa Catholic Church. Catholic Church, Ekwe. Okay. So it's straightforward. Very well. What about your own office, um, Bakri? Our office is located, last part of office is located at Water, number 7 Water Wars Road. Mm. Ekbe. Number 7 Water Wars Road. Water Wars Road. Ekbe. All right. So, what is the validity period for a planning permit in Lagos State? Is it for life? Yes. It's for life? Yes. Okay. So, I don't need to come do any renewals for it. It's not to say every 10 years or every 20 years I have to come and renew. It's applicable to provisional. But if it's full approval, it's for life. Ah, okay. So for provisional approvals, you have um, to come and, and do the needful. Yes. But full approvals, you do not need need that at all. Yes. Sir. So what kind of situations will warrant a provisional approval? Provisional approval is given when you don't have title document on, on the said property. Ah, okay. Mm. So no title documents, provisional approvals granted, given. Yes. But of course, once that... Um, approval has been given it stays with me for life yes okay then let's begin to take this home this morning all right Ekwe, uh, you say it's a very big land and you've mentioned so many communities from what you see uh, development of uh, houses building of houses are they coming up very fast in Ekwe? because before now people used to think uh, Ekwe was still very much a developing land so uh, do we have more constructions coming up these days uh, let me start with uh, builder Arugundari. yeah just coming up uh, gradually gradually you cannot compare to some other area Okay. So like uh, Lekki, VI, uh, Ikeja. Right. So the, we still have so many plots of land in. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'm coming to get my own. <laughs> <laughs> I should come, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I surround this all right now. Um, uh, Sherry Bakri, what's your advice to the listening public on uh, physical planning permits in Lagos State? Thank you. My advice to people, my advice to my people, everybody should do the needful. Let everybody do their building plan approval and do the needful. Okay. And then for those of those that are in Ekwe, they can always get in touch with your office, right? Yes. Uh, where is your office located again? Number 7, Water Wars Road. In Ekwe. Ekwe. All right then. So, Builder Arugnadi, what's your parting thought? What's your message to our listeners this morning? My own advice to negotiators is to always do the right thing. To always engage the services of a registered professional during the actual, actual consortium. Mm. All right. So your offices are open from when to when? From Monday to Friday. Okay. So you're open. You're open, and people always, can always get in touch with you. Exactly. As well. Okay. Then. So we we'll leave it at that for now. Thank you so much for being here, gentlemen. Okay. So we've been trying to expand the scope for planning permits and building approvals in Lagos State Equid District offices in focus. My guest this morning, Builder Arogundade Olajide, who is Assistant Director with the Lagos State Building Control Agency, LAPCA. He is also the District Head for Ekwe Eredo Office. And I've also been speaking with Town Planner Sharif Bakari, who is an Assistant Director of Town Planning Services with LASPA and the I'm District sure. and the District yeah, Officer. Oh, yeah. Bakri, rather. <laughs> Bakri. <laughs> I know you cherish that name so much. Yeah, All right. Yeah, Sherry Bakri. Yeah. One million apologies, right? <laughs> All right. So he's the district officer for Ekwe Local Government. We have to go now. Maximum thanks to Daily Agadmo for producing the program this morning. I say a big thank you to Akin Sonia Aditola, who is a public, chief public affairs officer for the ministry. Same for Sanusi Mukaila who is the Director of Public Affairs for the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development. I've been Bola Umi as well. We appreciate you. All right, then. So, till next week, Thursday, when the program makes a return, my name is Victor Oteri. Have a splendid day. Bye. <laughs>